And so if you guys do have any questions, you can go ahead and post it in the chat box as well. Welcome. Thanks, Mary. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. So I was just introducing you, Good. telling them uh, that we consider you the wealth builder in the real estate industry. And actually, I admire uh, your role. You're my go-to person if I have anything that happens in the industry. So guys, welcome Frank Corbin. And uh, Frank, go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm Frank Corbin. I'm a real estate broker and I'm in Mississauga. Um, I'm also an investor and mentor. I've been um, personally investing in the um, in the GTA real estate since of age 21, 22. So I've been been here for a while. Probably should be retired by now. <laughs> I think you've done a great job, actually. So thank you. And um, I've seen over the years the um, the growth in this market. I've seen the opportunities, um, and I've seen everything from um, from building turn upside down to condos development to CD launch to CD. You know, I've, I've seen it all. Um, and and trust me, there's still lots more opportunities available uh, for growth because I, I think we're just getting started with all this the whole wealth building process when it comes to real estate. Absolutely. So uh, we know that you've been in the industry for a very long time. What are some of the areas that you focus on in the, in the Ontario uh, province for your real estate business? Well, I don't have any specific area I focus on. I just look for opportunities. Okay. So I, I, on, a, on a weekly base or monthly base, I go looking for opportunities. And I look anywhere from as far as Windsor to Ottawa, far east to far west. Okay. That's the range. That's the range we look for. So uh, for, as an investor, um, home ownership, people can live wherever they want to live. But for investment purpose, we can generate revenue and make lots of money, money, cash flow, strong appreciation. There's no limitations to, to geographical location. So from, as in, if you're talking Ontario, we're looking from west side as uh, Windsor to east side of Ottawa on the 401 line. On the 401 line. And, and that's yeah. the key for me for real estate, whether I'm purchasing or even for my buyers, is having the location near a highway. Um, because of the type of work I'm in, I, I travel a lot. And I if I'm getting home, I don't want to be uh, 30 minutes from the highway. So that's key there as well. So I wanted to hone in a little bit on um, an area that you're particularly uh, working on right now. Let's tell them about it. Oh, you're talking about Ingersoll, Ontario? Yes, uh, okay, so Ingersoll is, is quite unique. Um, and it, what is unique about Ingersoll, coming out of the GTA, which is about an hour, hour and five minutes plus or so, Ingersoll is the best price to value being offered right now. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for a home ownership for your personal um, uh, residence or looking for investment purposes, Ingersoll is, is a new market. Um, is to have slight growth. That means the, the ability to grow beyond that is, uh, is amazing and, and, uh, and is developing very, very well. Uh, we, we got on to Ingersoll, I think it's early 2016 or yeah, early 2016, and we have seen, uh, or, or even I think it's late 2016 or 2017, and we've seen a tremendous growth. Almost everyone who got out there uh, is sitting pretty good right now for when it comes to appreciation. Wonderful. So uh, new community, uh, what are the prices for some of the lots right now? Are they built already as well? I uh, know um, everything is too built. So it, well, if you decide to secure something, it's going to be built to you within 12 months or so. Wonderful. Uh, we have just a few more lots leaving on this, this phase. Okay. That's what to complete. And then we have potential a few more phase coming after that. Prices range anywhere from, um, if you're looking at the townhouses in the early 400 or, or late 300,000, and if you're looking at the detached homes, they start in the early 500,000 and they go up from there on. Wonderful. And so who's your recommendation for this area? Is it uh, new families? Is it um, anyone moving into the area for work or for business? Who's buying out there? Everyone is buying. So this, this, this is a demographic. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. We have people looking for affordable real estate. We have people looking to retire in three to four years. So they're securing a, a bungalow or um, a detached home right now. Um, some, some of them renting it temporarily with the potential that when they retire in three, four years, they can go out there and live. Because okay. remember, the afford is very affordable. Um, look at investors are, are investing in Ingersoll because in the, Ingersoll not only gives you appreciation, it gives you excellent cash flow. Yeah. Um, what else? Who else we have going on out there? Um, yeah, and, and people who just want um, to relocate. 
Okay, really, because a lot of industries in Ingersoll are Ingersoll strong in the area. It's called the Oxford County. Okay. So anyone looking to relocate, especially in the, in the nursing industry, um, teachers, this kind of stuff, uh, engineer, technician, they can relocate. There's lots of jobs available okay. uh, if you fit those um, the, the employers that that's out there. We have two of the plant out in Woodstock, which is like ten minutes away, um, hiring over eight thousand plus people employed there. We have GM Cami plant in Ingersoll, over 3,000 plus people employed it, and a lot of sub companies that support those auto industries as well. Wonderful. And almost every town in those areas have hospitals and, and medical facilities and so on and so on. And it's still growing. And it's, oh yeah, it's, it's, we haven't started yet. It's, we're just getting, just getting cracked up here. Wonderful, um, wonderful. And so when I look at um, a person who, who has just you know, come back to Toronto, and everyone keeps on talking about this stress test and the mortgage and no one cannot buy a home in Toronto. Let's talk about that and let's educate everyone on what's actually going on with the market and that it's still growing and, and tell everyone what the stress test actually means. Okay, well, the stress test is, is designed for, um, well, my interpretation, of it, I can, I'm not sure what the government um, intentions yeah. are. But uh, what they're saying, they're trying to make a uh, home more affordable for the average Canadians. Okay. And the market is being driven by foreign investors for the most part and just greedy investors who's trying to make a lot, a lot of money. So these guys go in and they crank the price up because the, mar the, 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 the mass purchasing of real estate. So the stress test is designed to cool the market down, bring the price down a bit, and also stabilize the financial side of it. That means if something does go wrong, it's a recession or something comes on, are we going to have a high foreclosure market? Or are people able to still afford to carry the, the mortgages? Because what we don't want happening here in Canada is what happened in the U.S. 10 years ago. Okay, so the stress is there to protect everyone who's involved in real estate. So some people are upset, yeah. but they should not be upset. It's working in their favor. Because if the market go too high and then we have a strong decline, everyone loses, including me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> everyone loses. We nobody wants the market to crash. If the market crash, everyone loses. So when the market come back now, uh, which we've seen it pull back a bit, yes. uh, it's still not going to be pulled back enough for most people to get in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what most people need to do, they need to move out. Yes. GTA real estate never going to become affordable like it was 10, 15 years ago. And that's not happening. That's the key. <laughs> so if you sit waiting on that, keep waiting. It's not going to happen, right. okay? But what I can tell you, rather than sitting waiting, go out in the suburbs, go out in the outskirts, look for nice towns, affordable real estate, convenient to stuff that you want, and you start buying real estate. Secure a property or two. You should buy, people should buy like three, four properties out in these, these small towns right now. Because that's where the market is moving. You have no choice. And if we miss this mark, then we're going to be uh, kicking ourselves in the butt the way that uh, most of us kicked ourselves in the butt when we didn't invest in downtown Toronto back in the 90s. Absolutely. Well, a, lot, a lot of people miss a lot of markets. Yeah. Now, they miss Toronto market. They miss Barry market. They miss Brampton market. Remember Brampton used to yes. push? <laughs> <laughs> they miss Brampton market. If you miss Brampton, you miss Mississauga. They definitely miss Milton. Yes. Okay, so all these, remember Milton was a small town 12 years That's ago. Right. Now, right. There's a small town with a with deep pockets now. So um, they're going to miss Woodstock. London is, everyone missed London. London just went ridiculously high. No one paid London because everyone focused on Toronto, Toronto GT. And London went from zero to hero in, in less than 36 months. And uh, so, so these small towns we've seen getting a lot of attraction, a lot of people buying in, a lot of foreigners are still buying yes. into these these. these, these so I have a question for you in terms of Intersol. Is there an Airbnb market out there that you're seeing at all for anyone purchasing these units? Um, Airbnb market is going to almost everywhere. Okay. But I don't focus on that side of the market, mm -hmm. okay, because I look for something more stable. Okay. As an investor, I want long term. I want to make sure there's a local rental market. Here. Okay. Okay. So when I buy a prop in these areas, and I secure the property and I'm uh, looking for tenants. I'm looking for strong employment locally. Okay. Yeah, I'm not looking for somebody who's going to rent from me and drive back to Toronto every day for work. Okay. That's not yeah. a client. I'm, I'm looking for local employment. So I'm looking for who have good jobs and so on and so on. I look, also look for the, um, the household income. And, and so when I pre-qualify my tenants, I'm getting a top quality tenant renting my property. So the, the real local rental market has to be strong before I buy. So Airbnb is not something I pre-qualify. Okay. It is too speculative. All right. And now let's talk about 
uh, your wealth building and your knowledge on that and uh, the programs and things that you have available coming up in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, well, this is what I think. Most people should go out and buy a ton of real estate right now. Okay. Right now, the market is pulled down a bit, and they should buy a lot, a lot of real estate. Now, what we see being the highest demand for real estate now and in the future, mm -hmm. okay, and this, this doesn't change in the last 20 years since I started investing in real estate. Um, the cheapest four-bedroom with the largest potential two-bedroom basement apartment. Yes. That that, whether it's a townhouse, a semi-detached, or a detached home, if you have a four-bedroom upstairs with two-bedroom in the basement, you can do very, very well for appreciation now and in the future. Okay. Okay? But you can get strong appreciation. Um, also, you can get good cash flow if you buy it at the right price point. Okay. So also, price point buying is very important. Just don't go out and buy a property because everyone says for sale. Okay? Uh, from an investment perspective... Mm -hmm. Um, if, if you, there's a cap of how much money you should pay for a property, yes. right? And if you don't follow that, you end up with a property, you got to pay for it, even if it's fully rented. You don't want to be in that negative cash flow situation. Correct. And so this kind of yeah. reminds me of the New York market where everyone talks about um, multifamily homes. Majority of the people that I know or that I'm in business with, they don't pay their mortgage because they have a two or a three family home. The tenants pay the bills for them. So they're able to go and invest in another property and do the same thing. So it's it's similar. So you, you are considered a mentor as well. You mentor a lot of uh, real estate agents in the industry, and you also talk a lot about wealth. That is one of the main uh, things that I think attracted me to you in terms of your business aspect is you're always talking about a way of investing money, making money, and being able to see a return. And uh, let's talk about the... Uh, programs that you offer, where people can find you, um, and what you have coming up in the next couple of uh, weeks in terms of projects and things like that. Okay, so let me just correct a, a couple of things you said there. Number one, I do not mentor realtors. No, okay. My apologies. <laughs> no, I don't mentor realtors. Uh, so realtors, please do not contact me. <laughs> <laughs> what I do mentor is investors. Investors. Okay, real estate investors, people who are serious about taking the finances from zero to hero. Okay, um, so we look at real estate, how we can set up, you have to set up a real estate portfolio, owning three, four, five properties. And I work with people anyway from five to 10 years. So I'm, with, I'm stuck to you for a very long time once we start working. Okay, um, so the easiest way to contact me is, is get onto my WhatsApp VIP list. Okay, and you can connect me. Uh, my phone number is 647 237 three six four two so that's six four seven two three seven three six four two you can add yourself add your spouse add your kids add everybody so and send me a text frank please put me in your vip list okay now what that list is for i go and do all the research i find the projects and i open up to my vip folks first okay you got first dips that's before it each reach social media or my mass blast email or before any website or even youtube yeah. Okay, it comes to my VIP list first. Okay, okay? when they, when you get a text from me or, or a flyer from me saying, "Hey, we just launched XYZ City or Town," you gotta respond within twenty four to forty eight hours because it's always a good time to open up a program. <laughs> it goes real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, because the first set, okay, the, the, that's where you get the greatest incentive, especially if you're doing a phase one yes, project. I learned and that. You have a beautiful phase one project coming up in 2018. Yeah. Right now, we're in the back end doing negotiation with the builders and the city and all kind of different mm -hmm. stuff. So as soon as it launched, we say, hey, we're here. You just come on out and we flood the place. We start putting in offers. We talk about flexible down payment, flexible payment structure. Mm -hmm. We talk about low price and the list goes on of all these things that happen. So that's the best way to get access to me. You got my, my WhatsApp yes, VIP list. I posted list. that don't... for them to get as well. Install WhatsApp. What's that? I posted it for them as well. So they, if they didn't catch that, it's now in the chat. You guys can go ahead and start adding him to your WhatsApp. Yes. So just send me a text. Frank, please put on your VIP list. And I add you on. And they'll be good to go. Once things, once we have a project um, that's going. Or you can say, Frank, what do you have going on right now? Right now, I'm, I'm still doing some stuff in Ingersoll. And I'm doing some stuff in Beaumontville. We still have good pricing, um, decent payment structure, and um, but we already passed a couple of phases on those. Yeah. Uh, if you still want in on Beaumontville waterfront, you, be, you, you, be, you, you do fine, okay? okay? Uh, if you invest now, you still will do fine in those places. Uh, but I have lots of stuff coming if you're looking for um, 
more flexible stuff, uh, more affordable. I have a lot of stuff coming in, in 2018. It's going it's to be an amazing year for lots of people. A lot of my investors are going to be really good. <laughs> Excellent. And so we, I posted your website as well, remicamerica.com forward slash phase one. And I like that it's phase one because, you know, there's no point. I mean, you can still do phase two, three, and four, but we know that uh, phase one is where uh, the it's the best time to That's jump right. in and get it. So I, I like that that swing on things. Yeah. Any last words or advice that you want to give anyone in investing in Ontario? Um, I know you're also in the U.S. as well. Do you want to give any um, outlooks on that? Um, well, of course. Um, for, for folks who are trying to invest, this is for investors predominantly, don't get caught up on the location. It's not about you. It's about your local market, what you're investing in. So when I buy a property in Timbuktu, it's not about me. It's about who's living in Timbuktu who's going to rent that property from me. That's what's important. Um, so be that cop in the location. Oh, it's too far. Are you going to be living there? No. So what do you care? Yeah. The guy who's living there is close for him. It's far for you. It's close for him. So let's focus on him, not you. It's not about you. Okay. Um, I want 100% brick. The local guy don't care about brick. So forget that. Mm -hmm. get, get it out of your brain. It's not about you. You're an investor. So what's important to you is the return on your money. Wonderful. Okay, that's the first thing. Uh, the next thing for the U.S. market, um, if, you, if you're going to the U.S., you're buying the U.S., especially Florida, Atlanta, so on, uh, we can get you mortgage at a 25%, anything between 25% and 25% down payment. There's a program called the Foreign National Mortgage Program that if foreigners can invest in the United States, you don't need to be an American resident or an American citizen. You can invest in Florida and... Um, and Atlanta or anywhere in the United States you want to invest, you need 35% down. That's seen the standard stuff now. And you can buy lots and lots of real estate. I, I would recommend if you want to go to the U.S. and invest in the U.S., go big. Don't go to the U.S. buying a single home. Buy a multi-family property. That's where the money yes. is. For foreigners, that's where the money is for foreigners. Multi-family, you buy a million dollars worth of real estate, two million, and you get a good positive cash flow. You get a property manager, market management for you. You can't manage a single family home from Canada. It's too much work. You need a big enough project where um, of a local property manager to manage it for you, and that you make a ton of the money if you, if you go out to that. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, it was uh, it's always awesome conversation with you. That's what I like, and you're, I'm always learning whenever you uh, speak. So this was great conversation. I'd like to thank, thank you, you so much for your time. This is definitely um, something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So I thank you for carving out time out of your busy schedule. You guys, as stated before, he is available on Instagram, uh, Frank underscore Corbin underscore mentor. Um, and he's also on Facebook and go to his YouTube channel. You cannot get enough information off uh, his YouTube channel. It's definitely information packed. So Frank, thank you so much. It's been awesome. And I will talk to you really soon. That was good. Thank you, Thank Natalie. Thank you. Bye, guys.